Ten years ago, Santa Monica was the golden child of Los Angeles County, the number one suburb to live in. It was in movies, TV shows, tourists from all around the world were coming to visit. No one had anything bad to say about Santa Monica. Cut to 2023, all of a sudden, people are calling it the wild, wild west. People are saying avoid moving to Santa Monica. Today I'm going to talk about seven points you need to hear about if you are thinking about moving to Santa Monica. If you can't handle any of these seven points, maybe you should reconsider it. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. And if you are looking to make a move to Santa Monica, please reach out. I made the move from London back in 2008, so I know what it's like to make a scary move from another state or even from another country. If that's what you're looking for, hope to hear from you. Okay, so if you have never been to Santa Monica, where is it? As you can see here, it's right on the coast. It's a small neighborhood, a small city in fact. Eight square miles basically, and it only has 94,000 residents. Okay, let's talk about homelessness. Number one, it's on the rise. Are Santa Monica doing anything to try and help this out? I don't think they are. Right now in Santa Monica, there's more homeless people per square mile than there is in San Francisco. And if you're looking at the media right now, San Francisco seems to be overrun. However, there's more homeless people per square mile in Santa Monica. Yes, there's always been homelessness in Santa Monica 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago. It's by the beach, and to be honest, if you're going to be homeless, we're better than Santa Monica. But it seems to be getting worse. Because of that, crime is on the rise as well. Santa Monica used to be 20, young 20-year-old 20 women, comfortable, happy to move to Santa Monica, go out for runs, walk home after a few drinks in the evening. Now more and more people are against that because homelessness and crime is on the rise. So if that turns you off, if that's really high on your radar when it comes to not wanting to live in a neighborhood, it might not be the place you think it is. And let's talk about the cost of living in Santa Monica. It's 204% higher than the national average. So if you're going out for dinner, if you're going out to a show, even if you're going out for a cocktail, one cocktail because you're driving maybe, that cocktail is going to cost you somewhere between $15 and $20. Santa Monica is so expensive. A meal for two now, if you're having a glass of wine, you're not getting much back from $150 once tax and tip is included. So if you're coming to LA on a budget, Santa Monica, ah, might not be for you. All right, let's talk traffic. As we know, Los Angeles is known as America's busiest car park. However, Santa Monica, if you ask me, is one of the worst places in LA for traffic. It's kind of its own bubble. You know, you're right by the water, so you really only have one freeway coming in and out, a few other ulterior roads. But to be honest, there's one way in, one way out. So if you're commuting out of Santa Monica to downtown LA or Beverly Hills, Hollywood, or maybe down to the South Bay, Torrance, um, Hermosa Beach, be prepared to be in your car. People who live in Santa Monica and commute, a one hour commute is really nothing. So if you don't want to spend an hour a day each way going back and forth to work, check out Santa Monica, might not be the place for you. Let's talk community vibe. If you're wanting to move somewhere with a great community vibe, people have been living there for decades and there's a sense of community and bond, Santa Monica might not be the place for you. People love to move to LA and go and rent in Santa Monica, but it is extremely expensive to live. So what I've noticed, a lot of people will rent there as soon as they're maybe married or having a young family. They need to buy a home. They want to get on the housing market. Guess what? They move to other cheaper neighborhoods. Because of that, the influx of people coming in and out, residents coming in and out of Santa Monica is high. 70% of people in Santa Monica rent. So if you're looking for a stable community where people move to and live there forever, kids, grandkids, Santa Monica might not be the place for you. That being said, let's talk about the cost of living in Santa Monica. Like I said, a lot of people rent and then leave. You want to rent a studio in Santa Monica, it's about $3,200 a month, which is about $1,000 more than other Los Angeles neighborhoods. And if you want a one-bedroom 
place in Santa Monica in a decent area, you better have $4,000 a month to spend. And it doesn't get any easier when you want to purchase a house. First of all, you need at least $2 million to purchase a house. Put it this way, in the last two years, there have been 511 single family homes for sale. It's not that many. However, over 50% of those single family homes were above $3.5 million. So number one, it's extremely hard to buy a single family home. 70% of homes aren't single families in Santa Monica. Plus you need more than $3.5 million. So it's kind of a dream for most people living uh, in Los Angeles to buy a home in Santa Monica. So yeah, rent there if that's what you want. But if you're moving to Santa Monica, you want to get on the housing ladder and live in that single family home, it's probably going to be almost impossible for you to do it. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. I do videos every week on what it's like to live in LA County. If that's what you're looking for, hope to see you in my next video. Let's talk tourism. If you're retiring or you want to raise a family and you don't want an influx of tourists constantly bugging you, constantly being in your restaurants or walking down your streets, Santa Monica is probably not for you. Santa Monica has so many people, not just coming from LA during the weekends when it's summer, but from around the country and even around the world, Santa Monica Pier, for example, um, the beaches, the restaurants, there is a huge influx of tourists. So if you want to live in a neighborhood where um, you don't see tourists, you don't bothered by tourists, maybe people drinking and being a little rowdy because they're on vacation. Once again, Santa Monica might not be for you. Let's talk weather. And you might be like, weather? Matt, what are you talking about? Los Angeles County, the weather's always hot everywhere, right? It's actually not the case. It's actually kind of crazy how different the weather can be in the same county. For example, if you're moving from Arizona where you just want hot, you want it to be hot every day, or you're moving from somewhere cold and you're fed up with the cold weather, and you just want that 90 degrees dry heat all year round, Santa Monica might not be for you. Yes, you want to go to Glendale or the Inland Empire, Los Feliz. It's about 15 degrees hotter throughout the year than it is in Santa Monica. And when it comes to the winter months, November, December, January, February, it can actually get pretty chilly in Santa Monica. Don't forget, you're right by the water. So in the evening, the weather can drop. Now, don't get me wrong, it's no mammoth or Vegas even in the winter. And obviously Portland and Denver and all those... Uh, areas where you get snow and it can go below freezing. Santa Monica is not going below freezing, but it can get a little windy and a little chilly. So if you just want sun and warm weather all year round, once again, Santa Monica might not be for you. There's definitely some red flags now when moving to Santa Monica. And now in the media, more and more, I'm seeing Santa Monica is going downhill in a lot of people's opinions. But if you look on niche.com, it's still the number one suburb in the whole of California to live. People are still flocking there. It has some of the most amazing schools, restaurants, and quality of life. And it's an extremely healthy neighborhood. And if you like outdoor activity, obviously the beaches are to die for. So um, if you have any questions, please reach out. Like I said, I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. Love to hear from you.